Hey guys, it's Warren here and hello fellow pizza lovers. Although if you're looking for an alternative to a traditional bread base, then you've come to the right place. Because here's my recipe for a cauliflower pizza base. And this is enough to make one pizza to serve two. To begin with, take 600 grams of cauliflower and remove the florets from the store. Then, using a sharp knife, cut the cauliflower up, then wash under the tap. Now take a food processor or blender and add the cauliflower in, and you may have to do this in parts. Alternatively, use a grater. Now blitz the cauliflower up until it has a consistency of fine breadcrumbs. Once done, pour all the cauliflower into a microwavable bowl and cover with a plate or cling film. Then place into the microwave on a medium heat for 10 minutes, stirring halfway through cooking. Alternatively, you can steam the cauliflower for the same amount of time on the stove. When the cauliflower is cooked, carefully remove it from the microwave because it will be hot. Then remove the plate or cling film. Now add 50 grams of grated Parmesan cheese and crack in two eggs. Finally, add one tablespoon of oregano and then stir everything together until fully combined. Next, take a baking tray lined with some greaseproof or parchment paper and pour on the cauliflower mixture. Now spread the cauliflower all over the tray, making sure it's of equal thickness, no more than half a centimetre thick. And this is easiest done using a spatula. Once done, tidy up the edges, then we need to pre-bake the base in an oven preheated to 200 degrees centigrade, 390 Fahrenheit, for between 20 and 25 minutes. And once the base has started to turn golden, take it from the oven. Then top your cauliflower base with some tomato sauce, then your favourite pizza toppings. Now return the pizza to the oven probably for another 10 to 15 minutes until the toppings are cooked nicely. Check everything's done to your liking and the pizza's lovely and golden, then garnish with some fresh basil, remove from the baking tray and slice into pieces. And there you have it, that's how to make a great tasting cauliflower crust pizza which is a great alternative to bread. Now if you loved the look of this cauliflower pizza base, remember to give this video a thumbs up. You can check out more of my recipes by clicking on one of the videos appearing on screen here and subscribe by clicking on the little picture of me just there to be notified when I upload new videos.